Hello, today we'll be doing an intro to musical clefs. The first clef is a treble clef. The treble clef is commonly known as a G clef because the symbol looks like the letter G. The treble clef is used for most types of instruments, some of which include violin, flute, bagpipe, piano, trumpet, saxophone, and etc. Uh, the, tr the treble clef is the upper grand staff for instruments such as harp and piano. One good way to remember the spaces in the treble clef is by spelling face, F-A-C-E. To remember the lines in the treble clef, remember every good boy deserves fudge, or E-G-B-D-F. On the right is a diagram showing how to use these. The bass clef. The bass clef is also called the F clef because the two dots in the symbol center around the note F. Some instruments that use the bass clef include the piano, bassoon, trombone, tuba, the bass guitar, the cello, and the double bass. It is only an octave or eight notes below the treble clef. The bass clef is known but mainly used to play lower instruments. There are multiple ways to remember the notes. On the lines are the notes G, B, D, F, and A. And a mnemonic to remember this is grizzly bears don't fear anything. The notes on the spaces consist of A, C, E, and G. To remember this, there is the saying, all cows eat grass. The alto cleft is the least common of these three clefts. It is right in between the treble and bass cleft, centered around the middle C that's on the middle line. From there, the rest of the notes can be read. So on the lines, there's F, A, C, E, and G, and on the spaces, there's G, B, D, and F. This clef isn't used for very many instruments, but one of the most common is the viola, which is why sometimes you'll hear it being referred to as the viola clef. 